Hello everyone, welcome to BST African Electronics Yari on a Monday afternoon. So what do we have? We have this Pesa laptop. This is coming from our customer. And uh, he said the laptop is coming on and it uh, keeps restarting by itself. Coming on, goes off, coming on, goes off, coming on, goes off. Trust me, this can be the worst case when we can't do anything. Let's just pray. This fault has nothing to do with the PCH or with the graphics, graphic chip. So, someone asked me today, what kind of soldering paste are you using? I'm using this. All these are Chinese soldering. I don't mind. The idea is to achieve whatever I'll be repairing. So, I'm using this. Yes, someone... I, I can't forget that comment. Because someone said some time ago, I'm using Vaseline. Crazy minds. So, I'm using this. I bought it on AliExpress. This is a MF soda paste. A B A B F soda paste. I think you can see the difference. This can be easily evaporated, but this one is like glue. When you use this one, when it gets dry, it uh, acts as an insulator, like a rock. This one. So, that I, that's what I'm using. And also, the rosin liquid flux, but uh, this one is empty. I think I need to order another one. So, these are some flux or soldering paste which i'm using so going back to our problem esa let's see what what is the model is the esa aspire 5733 series yeah keeps restarting so let's use the power supply because we need to see what this laptop is doing exactly let's connect our power supply 19 volts 19 volts 3.5 amps 3.6 3.6 is good so let's see we have to see what this laptop is doing. Let's connect our power supply. Now connected. We have like a 38 milliamps standby current. Which I believe is some kind of good power on. You can see the LEDs, maybe you can see here, on, it's now on, and it goes off, on again, off, and again here the sound of the fan is spinning, so it's coming on, goes off, coming on, goes off, and obviously we have nothing on the screen. So that's the problem here. You see this, those LEDs is now on, off, on again, like non stop. So what is the problem? What is the problem? Do you have a BIOS problem here? Can be, can be a BIOS, so can be a BIOS, can be the hard drive, but I don't think so, 
because if we have a fault hard drive in most cases the we must have a picture on the screen so let's open this quickly and try to find out what is the problem i took out the hard drive let's let's try to find out the problem by eliminating things i took out the hard drive we need to power on on same thing so it's not the hard drive we have ra like RAM memory let's take out this one let's reset the BIOS battery maybe something simple who knows maybe it's not a complicated thing let's put back the BIOS battery let's start again the laptop on and the laptop is working so what was the problem you know what I'm, I'm very disappointed I didn't expect you to get something like this so what is the problem what was the problem frozen BIOS okay let's put back the second rim maybe this rim is faulty maybe i was thinking this can be a, a dangerous fault but we are saved let's power on the laptop on And our laptop is working. Is are all the RAMs they are working fine? So clearly that was a frozen BIOS. I just took out took out the BIOS battery reset, and we have a working laptop. Crazy! I don't want even to see this laptop. I'm disappointed why is it, why so simple today why so if we have this kind of SR laptop probably the owner of the laptop left the laptop unused for a long time yeah usually it happens when you left your laptop like weeks months without using it can be develop such kind of issues so all what you have to do is to take out the bios battery reset the bios and the laptop is working so yeah the hard drive was stuck with some hot glue so i'm just putting back those the glue back in position otherwise we have to move to the next job because this this job is done i consider it fixed last time i was having problem with such kind of jobs but what I, how i would treat the customer should i charge the customer or not but later on i discover that it's necessary to charge the customer because the fact that he bring the he bring his device to a repair shop it means 
you are unable to fix the device. So we should charge, but not too much. Just a reasonable amount of money. So we are done. We are done. Just to find our test power supply. We do have the charging light on. And it's working fine. You can see the ESA. It's loading windows. See the window sign? So, that's all. So, I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. See you on the next video. Bye.